Hey guys, my name's Russell Mann and I do the show Living in Racine where I go over all the aspects of Racine that I find to be truly amazing. Ever since I've moved here I've found it a great city so join me after this and I'll tell you why I feel spoiled. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. So, do you ever feel spoiled in regards to shopping for groceries? You don't? Well, let me tell you about the town I come from. I come from a town called Basden, similar size to Racine. Basden in Essex in the UK and living there we would have maybe two or three superstores what I call superstores grocery stores yeah the really big ones and that's why I feel spoiled living in Racine going around you you have to be amazed at how many superstores we have here so I'm gonna start the ball rolling I'm gonna go through them and so number one on the list is Aldi's so in alphabetical order I've chose these so you've got Aldi's we've got two Aldi's one on Durand one on Douglas so nice stores great produce by the way do you know what Aldi stands for well here's a trivia fact for you it was actually it was run by the Albrecht brothers and they run discount stores discount food so the first two letters of each word Albrecht and discount is Aldi that's where it comes from there you go next time you get asked that in trivia you'll know the answer so a German company but they do great produce and did you know that in they actually have 12,000 stores yeah in 18 different countries so they're all over the place so you know if you go on vacation somewhere you're likely to pop into an Aldi so who knows next one on the list is my favorite store which I'm always spending time at because this is where I do my shopping most of the time it and you might even bump into me there one day so I always go to festival I love the produce there the staff are amazing always clean and it's a great store good prices um, and the produce is really good so love the fruit and vegetables from there they're always good and they last a while they don't go off you know some stores you can go you only have a few days but these ones really good really fresh I love going there and not that I don't love going to Aldi go to Aldi as well I go to all of these stores in actual fact I have been so but my main shop of the week is normally on a Wednesday so you may bump into me there um, and I go to a festival now we only have one festival in Racine but it's a really good one it's a really big one as a liquor section as well so uh, that's good and not far away from there is another store that I frequent and that's GFS so Gordon Food Services and I love there you can get bulk items there so although they don't have a great range of fresh um, fruit and veg they do have some but they have a lot of the frozen uh, fruit and veg there and you can buy it in bulk so you get I, I normally get my meats for the smoker if I'm going to be smoking any meats like my brisket or pork butt they do great stuff there they have a full range and uh, yeah I've always got my uh, larger meats for the smoker out of there always good and they do chicken everything else ground beef the whole works so you can get some great cakes there as well um, so just the one GFS in Racine itself after that we have a next biggest one is can you guess 
Yes, indeed, pick and save. So we've got pick and save just down the road from Festival. Um, another great store where we've got several of those. Uh, we have from pick and save, we've got the one on Durand at Green Bay Road. And you've got one on Four Mile and Douglas. And you also have one on Spring Street. So we've got three stores there for pick and save. Great stores, great produce, always been clean, friendly staff. Um, great. The only reason I go to festival over pick and save is it's closer. So uh, there you have it. So I'm normally in festival, but I have been to pick and save on occasion. And they're always really, really good. And then let's not forget <laughs> the pig stop. We've got Piggly Wiggly all over town. So we've got three big stores of Piggly Wiggly in the town. We've got Durand, Spring Street and Erie Street. Great stores again. Great staff. Good produce. Get lots of different types of food in there as well. So you can, if you want to go for Mexican and stuff like that, they've got it all there. Uh, you know any produce uh, like that you want you want to do tacos one night go there they, they've got the produce believe me uh, great store so we've got three of those and so we're really spoiled and then on top of that we've got one of the big names in our town which is Walmart and there we go we have Walmart um, we have two Walmarts in town. We've got the Super Centre and we also have the Neighbourhood Store as well on Washington. So we've got one on Durand and one on Washington. Uh, the big one, the Super Centre, you can buy your tyres there. You, can, you know, you can have all that done as well there. So that's a great store to have and it's a good place to go to. After that, we have not forgetting can you remember it wouldn't be you know shopping without quick trip would it i know it's a gas station i know but have you ever been in their their marketplace into their shop they've got loads of produce in there and the chicken is phenomenal they do cooked chicken they they do breakfast buns they do the cakes they do lots of produce in there and they also have special deals occasionally on things like bacon and um, pork rolled in bacon. Yeah, it's really good. So I generally, if we see there's a special going on there, we'll be in there buying it up. So it's great. We had some the other night. In actual fact, the uh, pork loin is wrapped in bacon. Great stuff. So, love it a lot. Uh, sorry, I didn't bring the picture over. There we are. There's a picture of a quick trip. So, there you have it. So, um, even our gas stations have great stores attached to them. So, yeah, where do you shop? Let me know in the comment below. Uh, I'd love to find out. And if you bump into me, say hi. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. If you got value from this content, don't forget to like the video. If you'd like to see more of the same, then subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. We'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for any future videos. See you next time. Bye for now.